shoots on Nikon. He shoots on Nikon. Nikon, please don't sue me. Hi. Uh, <laughs> today I'm going to be breaking down how we made uh, my most recent music video and song, uh, Shoots on Nikon, and kind of give you an insight behind the scenes on uh, the whole process and what went into it and how much work really went into making this entire thing happen. And I will answer the question so many people ask me all the time, Sam, why do you hate Nikon so much. Let's just jump right into it and get behind the cream. Instead of behind the scenes, it's, it's cream. So by now you guys should know that I enjoy going above and beyond when I make these YouTube videos. I knew that I wanted to make a song bashing Nikon specifically because I kind of made it a bit in some of my other videos that I didn't like Nikon. Uh, so I was just going to continue and make a whole song because why not? So I just thought it would be funny to compare Nikons to potatoes and the most obvious reason I wasn't going to actually use the Nikon brand and logo in the music video was most obviously because I didn't want to touch one because they're really gross, you know? So <laughs> we went with a different route. Anyways, once I had the idea, I reached out to my producer, Mark Nine, and he made this beat together with our buddy, Jana, and I immediately knew that this was going to be the Nikon banger that I always wanted. Then I knew with the potato concept, I had something good, but I wanted something to take it to that next level and really make it stand out. And what happened next was kind of the perfect example of right place at the right time. My buddies Max and Jacob wanted me to direct a music video for their debut single, and I told them I would help out basically for free as long as I could steal their set to film the chorus of my music video. And they said yes, so I was able to kind of steal 20 minutes of the time, get my buddies to grab some instruments, throw on turtles, turtlenecks and get a full chorus performance shot on this red monstro with anamorphic lenses that had no business being in my music video uh, but uh, yeah I just thought the overkill kind of made for a funny uh, look for a YouTube video especially. So once I had an idea of the concept and what I was going to do for the video itself I had to assemble a team and one of my biggest uh, core values I guess you could say is to always make sure the people that help me get the credit they deserve. So the very least you could do is pull out your phone and follow some amazing new creators. First off, we have Dylan Bradshaw, who co-directed the entire project with me, Chase Viking, who DP'd all of the potato scenes, Ben Hess, who shot the entire performance scene on his insane monstro setup, and Sam Woes on B-Cam for that performance. My buddy Keen, who is an amazing filmmaker by himself, who starred as Richard. My good friend Claire, who is a badass photographer, who starred as the beach girl. And my PAs, Spencer, Jack, and Cameron for showing up big. And lastly, Alex Romo, who did the behind the scenes and actually is editing this right now. And damn, he is so good looking and single also. And sometimes I just think about his abs and him getting out of the water. Um, where was I? Uh, basically, it took an entire two days to film with 11 people that just showed up and wanted to help, uh, which I'm extremely grateful for. These are all good friends of mine that are just very talented people and wanted to help me. Um, and I like to think if you put good energy out in the world and you help other people, that that always reciprocates. So I wanted to show them a little bit of love on this. And uh, yeah, the video has been out for almost a week now. It's been getting some pretty interesting responses, uh, some from angry Nikon users, which I knew was gonna come, but I feel like most people understood that this was all one big joke. It doesn't really matter that much what camera you use, which kind of leads me to the end of the video, which is the answer to the ever famous question, Sam, uh, what's up, dude? What's your beef with Nikon? Um, <laughs> and just to be blunt, there is no beef. I really genuinely don't care what camera you use. Every company has their ups and downs. Uh, I just thought it would be funny to pick one and just bash it because they make billions of dollars a year. And it's funny. I think so. I don't know. My humor is fucking dumb. Hopefully you guys found it funny. So there it is. It's out. Um, I don't actually have any kind of beef at all with Nikon. In fact, in fact, if you work for Nikon and you're watching this right now, uh, I'll sell out in a half a second. <laughs> we could do a brand deal together. Think of how funny that video would be. Um, I don't have beef with Nikon. I really don't care. Shoot on whatever camera you want.
But yeah, I just wanted to give you a little insight on how I make these videos, how I make them all happen. And speaking of making them happen, I couldn't have done it genuinely without the support of Cuts Clothing. Their clothes are amazing. The colors are nice. The quality is great. So if you want to help see more videos like this and support me, by far the easiest way you can do that is go in the link in the description here, click on it and buy a shirt or two or seven. I don't know. It helps me out a lot and they want to do more videos like this. So everybody wins. So grab yourself a shirt, 15% off using the link in my description. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of behind the cream insight. All right. Uh, till next time, get out there, stay creative, and as always, stay creamy. All right. Peace.